All right, uh, the landowner successfully removed some pigs off the property. We're going to help them clean them. A lot of times in our jobs, we have to uh, get the certain organs out of the pigs for uh, disease and research. And in the summertime, which is one of the best times to trap, it's too hot. So what you got to do is really cool this meat down real fast. So, and uh, this ice will, will actually get below 32 degrees. It's the same thing as making ice cream. So you got some water, some salt, and you're just making a good slurry, just, just regular old table salt. We'll take that. Mix it around. ever made ice cream it's the same concept ice water a little slurry and that'll get so cold in there that when it's 95 degrees and you're trying to get these the meat cooled quickly or the, the organs that we may need for disease work we can stick it in here and it'll get below 32 degrees so we're gonna have this available all summer long if we're trapping pigs it's a good thing to do this you can do it fast and it gets you, it lowers the temperature of that those organs of that meat real fast We're getting ready to clean this pig and I've got personal protective equipment you need to do this every time it's not just to keep yourself from possible disease and you know for any animal you clean you need to take a precaution but also I've got my clothes on here I don't want to get all uh, nasty and get back in my truck I want to stay clean but I've got gloves this is a staple anytime you clean any animal I, I recommend you using gloves I've got a rain suit on full rain suit and then I've got rubber boots of course number one you know you stay clean but number two is you've got to you've got to worry about disease. The biggest thing around here that you have to worry about with feral pigs is brucellosis. Humans can get it. It's a bacteria. It can stay on your clothes for about six hours. So you need to take your precaution. Another one is pseudo rabies, but humans don't get that. You're, you're pretty clear on that. But just take your precaution. Always use personal protective equipment before you clean any animal. All right, we're going to start removing the hindquarters. We've got a sow. Make a simple cut. And when you're doing this, you don't need a bunch of knives or anything. I'm going right to the joint right here. So we've got that piece. We'll stick it down like that. Taking the front shoulder, which this will be considered a Boston butt. You bought it in the supermarket. Pig meat is very good. Need to cook it to at least 160 degrees minimum. So we're gonna take that, stick it down, and I'm gonna go remove the back strap. The, the only thing you lose when you're doing this method is you're not really getting the, you can't get the ribs or the uh, tenderloins, but when it's really hot and you're trying to clean five, six, seven pigs and it's 90 degrees, you wanna get in there quickly Get your meat. You, know, you, you got to follow your safety precautions. Go right down the backbone, just like you're filleting a fish. Peel that back just a tad. And these do look like some good ribs, but we just, it's hot and we, we've got too many to do today. Put one side done. Flip it over. Around here. It's Deal. This works real good if you're in the field and 
you don't have a lot of water available, you got to get it done. You're just popping that joint. There's a joint right there. Go through that joint. Got a regular piece of meat. Get down to that ice. I'll show you how to do a front shoulder real quick. All right, we're gonna quickly show you how to take the pad off this front. Come in down to the knuckle. Just peel it back. back and once again you don't need a pair of uh, flopping shears there's a joint right there in the top of that knuckle just pop it Take that home and clean it real good. 26 degrees in here. And you're done. About five, ten minutes. When it's hot, you can have that pig in a cooler and you know ten minutes until you get real good at it. But about ten minutes. Have that pig in a cold cooler. No bacteria issues because we didn't really gut the pig. Like I said, you lose the ribs and you lose the uh, tenderloins, but we did not have to mess with where brucellosis would be in the reproductive tracts. Got in, got it done, got out, wear your, wear your gloves, wear your stuff, and then uh, you can make that in a sausage, just some great table fare, throw it on the, throw it on the smoker, have a great dinner. <laughs>